everybody um welcome to another unedited video and this time i'm in my bed and um it is nap time for my baby right now so i'm trying not to be super loud though she's obviously in a different room um but she's been sick so we've been traveling we traveled um to texas on like the second to last weekend of January and then to Disney World um, the last weekend of January and uh, those trips kind of like went into like the early part of the weeks um, and then she got sick she actually got sick between the Texas and Disney World trip and she was like starting to feel better on the Disney World trip and then when we got back from the Disney World trip she was doing good for a little while and then she started just throwing up so that's been fun. Um, she's thrown up on me twice. <laughs> um, and she's been wanting to constantly be on top of me always, all the time. So this is the first time in the last like two days that she has slept. She has slept without being on top of me <laughs> for longer than like 15 minutes. So hopefully she stays asleep but if she doesn't then you won't be seeing this video so if you're seeing this video then she has stayed asleep <laughs> so yeah sick baby um haven't and we've been traveling so that's why i haven't given um, an update yet so i just wanted to come and give an update on how i'm doing on my medicine medication i don't know what this hat's doing i'm just cold so i'm keeping it on i don't this is how my hair is going I, this is my hair growth after finishing Taxol, but my head is still cold, so we're still going to keep the hat on. Um, okay, so I want to talk about side effects of the medicine that I'm on, and I have a note where I wrote this down just to make it easier to remember everything. So um, I started for Zenio which is a bemacyclib. It's a targeted therapy for breast cancer. And I'm also taking an astrozole, which is the AI that I'm taking. And I'm also doing Zolodex um, injections to shut down the ovaries. And I am doing Exgiva injections also for bone strengthening stuff. Though last time I went um, to my oncologist, my calcium was too low, so, and I think the reason that my calcium was too low is because I keep forgetting to take the calcium because of all the, the trips we were on. For some reason, like, I couldn't remember to take the calcium. I don't know why, so my calcium was too low, so I couldn't get the injection. So hopefully, I've been remembering to take it now, so hopefully my calcium gets back up so I can get the injection next time I go. Um, so yeah, my side effects basically have gotten worse since starting the targeted therapy. That was expected. That's the one that's going to cause the most side effects. A lot of people experience diarrhea specifically on abemacyclib and that has been happening a lot and it's supposed to be getting better. It's supposed to be the worst in the first month and then, um, get better. I think it has gotten better. Um, but it's still not like at a point yet where I'm like happy with it. Like if it were a long-term thing, I don't think I could keep that up, you know? Um, so options would be to lower the dose, which a lot of people have, I mean, not a lot of people because there's not a lot of people that I talk to on this, but people have told me they have lowered their dose of abemacyclib and it's supposed to be, you know, still effective and and stuff so it's just supposed to make your quality of life better it says on their website that it's just as effective which like I don't understand if it's just as effective why wouldn't you just start on the lowest dose so I'm not quite sure how that makes sense um, but maybe it's just that like that's all that's been studied and the way that it's been studied doesn't show any better effectiveness but they think that it might and that's why they start you on a higher dose I actually have no idea I'm literally just making this up right now um, so if my side effects don't get better, 
continue getting better, then I might consider lowering my dose. But right now I'm on the 150 dose and there's a 100 dose and there's a 50 dose. I think there's also a 200 dose. Um, I don't know why they, but I, it seems like a lot of people start on the 150. So um, I don't know why people don't start on the 200. I haven't asked like these questions. I've really, like, I know I usually have all the information for you, but anyway, I started on 150. I think I can move up or down depending on how things are going. Um, my hot flashes have started. I think the last time that I talked to you guys, my hot flashes, or let's let's go back to the diarrhea because I didn't finish that. Um, I was having diarrhea a lot, like at least five times a day, and I was taking a modium for it, but it would it would still happen. But the modium would kind of keep it under control. Like I wouldn't ever have to take more than like three modium. But usually Imodium um, kind of like stops me up and makes me constipated for days. S so the fact that the Imodium wasn't working immediately was like weird for me. Um, yeah, so, but the Imodium was working so that was good and everyone was happy with that. Um, because a lot of times the Imodium does nothing and people have to go up to higher stuff. I'm actually having a hot flash right now, that's why I started talking about hot flashes. <laughs> Um, but I'm not dying because of something that I will explain in a minute. Um, so yeah, the diarrhea has been getting better. It's still multiple times a day. It's just not as often. Um, but yeah, it kind of ruins your quality of life if you're constantly having to go to the bathroom and, and all that. Plus, um, I was also having, having some vomiting and I wasn't, it wasn't happening a lot, but it would happen sometimes and that is really, really weird for me. I never throw up unless I'm sick. Like I have like a stomach bug or something. So it was weird for me to be vomiting just being on this medicine and I was like, I'm not having that. So if that continues, like that would be awful, but it hasn't. Um, but yeah, so having the vomiting and having the diarrhea um, was really bad because it meant like I couldn't really eat there, there were, I was trying to figure out what was causing it. I was trying to figure out what foods were causing it. I think eggs were a big problem. Whenever I had eggs, I would have a problem, but really whenever I had anything, I would have a problem. So it was really hard to figure out and it's hard to figure out what's from certain foods and what's from my body just adjusting to the new medicine. So I've stopped eating eggs, which is fine because I don't really like eggs that much. <laughs> um, Except when I was pregnant. I loved eggs when I was pregnant for some reason. So I, um, yeah, I was having all this vomiting and diarrhea and I was like not eating, especially while we were traveling. I was afraid of like being on a plane and being in the bathroom the entire time. So I was like barely eating. I definitely was not getting enough calories. And like, even when I would eat, I would just, it would just all come back out in one way or the other. So I have had weight loss too. Um, and the weight that I am right now is not like it's an unhealthy weight. It's not at all an unhealthy weight. Um, it's a weight that I have been at many times in my life. There was like a 10 year period from like when I was 15 to 25, I was like a certain range of weight. And I'm now at the low end of that range that I was all the time. So like, I still have I still have those clothes so like those clothes like I just like go down in those sizes I go down to the lower size of clothes that I have um, because it's kind of like I'm in the middle of sizes and when I'm like uh, at the higher end of the range then I am up a size but if I'm at the lower end of the range then I'm down a size so anyway like the weight that I am is not an unhealthy weight. It's just unhealthy how I have lost the weight and it's kind of unhealthy how fast I've lost the weight, especially because I wasn't even in that range. I haven't been in that range recently since being pregnant and and everything and right before I was pregnant, I was higher than that range. So yeah, I've probably lost like 10 pounds close to it um, in like the last two months. So I'm hoping to like, find foods and be able to eat and kind of get my weight back up because like I said it's not an unhealthy weight and I've been lower than this weight before there was a time in that 
10 year period when I was way lower than the weight and there was a time in that 10 year period when I was higher than the weight range but so it's not like my weight hasn't fluctuated but I'm trying to say that the weight that I am is, is a normal weight that I have been before but it's but it only worries me because of the way that I got to this weight <laughs> and so I don't want to continue going down I want to level off somewhere or go up and um, be able to have enough nutrients in my diet so that's a little bit worrying um, but yeah like I said I've been having a lot less diarrhea so I'm hoping that my weight kind of um, stays stable and I stop losing weight um, because like it's, yeah, it's really hard to get enough calories when you're when you when everything makes you sick um so yeah and so yeah hot flashes was the other thing i was going to talk about i probably start i started having hot flashes um when we were in disney world so at the end of january and um they have been mild so far i haven't had an issue like when i first started getting them i didn't even realize it at first i was like oh i think i'm having hot flashes and I would usually be wearing a hat, so I'd just take the hat off and I'd be totally fine. But lately, I've been, like, freezing. So, like, just walking around my house, I've been wearing a hat and, like, really warm socks and, like, sweaters because I've been so cold. And so now when I have a hot flash, it's like, it makes it better. <laughs> and, and I know these are still kind of mild hot flashes because I am a person that is always cold and I always have been a person that has always been cold. And so last time I had hot flashes, I was still a person that was cold and hot flashes were not making me feel better. They were death and they made me want to kill everybody. So now I see why some people are like, Oh, hot flashes aren't that bad because if you have hot flashes like the level of hot flashes that I'm having right now then I can totally see how they're not that bad and even if they're a little bit worse than what I'm feeling like they would be annoying but you know manageable the hot flashes that I used to have on my old medication back when I was like 22 23 they were like absolutely awful and like seriously just horrible like really really bad <laughs> So these are nowhere near that and I'm wondering if they will get to that point and it's kind of like ramping its way up. But seriously, like, and, and my, my problem last time was that I was never a comfortable temperature because I would either be too cold or I would be too hot. And the only time that I would be a comfortable temperature would be like right as the hot flash was starting. Like I would notice the hot flash was starting because I'd be like, oh, I kind of feel comfortable and be like, oh, that's because I'm about to get really hot in like three seconds. So that's how it was before. But now I'm just so cold, like so crazy cold that the hot flash kind of makes me feel better. And the only time that it starts to feel bad is at the very end of the hot flash. And it's not even like worth worrying about the very end of the hot flash because yeah maybe i'll like start sweating for like a second but it'll be over in like a second and at night i'm freezing so when i have a hot flash at night i used to have to like you know take off all the blankets and push my husband away and take off my socks and and everything i would purposely wear socks so that i could take them off when i had a hot flash because that would help um <laughs> And that's not happening now. Like sometimes I'll stick my foot out of the blanket, but really what I do is I try to, <laughs> I try to keep all the heat in the blanket so that when I'm done with the hot flash, I stay warm and I have some of that leftover heat because of how cold I've been. So yeah, this is a symptom that I didn't have last time. I, I was like, don't get me wrong, a cold person always wore sweatshirts and everyone was like why are you wearing a sweatshirt when it's this temperature outside and you know people talk to me like that and stuff but this is like a different level of being freezing um like i usually do a really good job of keeping my hands warm because because i'm so cold all the time i always like sit on my hands try to keep my hands warm same with my toes i'll i'll like sit crisscross applesauce like i am right now trying to keep my toes warm and wear really warm stuff on my feet and 
even doing all of that and constantly thinking about that because I always constantly think about my hands and how cold they are because I always want them to be warm. My hands are still cold. So it's like a lot more cold than before for some reason. And it could just be because, you know, we're in a new house and maybe I need to make the heat warmer. And I have, I have turned the heat up and it's winter. And so it could just be all of that and but I don't know, it could also just be like a hormone thing that's causing it. I have no idea. So, um, but basically what I'm trying to say is that if the hot flashes stay like they are right now, then they're totally manageable. I don't have a problem. I wouldn't even take medication for them um, because last time I took gabapentin for them and it helped a little bit, but the gabapentin would make me tired. So I wouldn't even want to take the gabapentin for it right now because I wouldn't want to deal with like the side effect of it of making me tired though I have heard that there is a new medication out there for hot flashes now that have has like less side effects um so I have been thinking about maybe doing that um but I haven't needed to currently so yeah that's <laughs> that's basically all my symptoms so far um, otherwise doing really good. Um, yes, I have fatigue. I didn't even mention that. Um, sometimes I get dizzy. I've been trying to take Zofran every morning right when I wake up, right when I um, take my targeted therapy because if I do that, then I'm less nauseous throughout the day and I'm less dizzy throughout the day. And I've been trying to just drink a bunch of water too, um, especially since the diarrhea. And after we traveled to Texas, I had to go and get fluids because my blood pressure was like super low and I could tell I was de dehydrated from like being on a plane and from all the vomiting and diarrhea. Um, but that hasn't happened since then. So I think things are getting better and hopefully they continue to get better and hopefully my body continues to get used to this medication um, because if it does, then I feel like it'll be manageable and yeah, I'm tired, but I have things keeping me busy. I have a baby, um, yeah. And people have asked about scans. I need to give this medicine enough time to work before I can get another scan, obviously. So um, my scan will probably be in the next month or two. Um, I probably won't schedule it even until the end of February, so. I don't know exactly, it's not scheduled. I don't know when exactly it'll be, but um, yeah, I need to give this medicine enough time to work to see if it's working on the scan. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that's my main update. I have another video that I haven't posted because I haven't edited it yet. It's basically like my routine with a one-year-old. So I filmed it like in early January when she was still 12 months, now she's 13 months. Um, so one day I'll post that, um, because, you know, I'm still having like the back pain and problems from my surgery. So it's kind of interesting taking care of a baby. Um, so that's why I filmed that video. So that'll be out sometime. I don't know when, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. So if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments and I hope this video was helpful. And I hope it was what you were looking for. Yeah, that's all. Bye.